Three-year-old child was one of 15 people injured in a drive-by shooting in Garfield Park. Glenn joins us live from Stroger Hospital with the details. Glenn? Hey, good morning, guys. Now, police have updated that number to 14 people who were victims of that gun violence and that drive-by shooting that happened last night. But get this, it only took three minutes to turn this group of mourners at that corner into the latest victims of gun violence, with a three-year-old being the youngest victim to that gun violence. Take a look at the scene from last night. Police were there, a large presence of police, I should say, um, were at that corner of Polk in California after a drive-by shooting took place a little before 9.30 last night. Police are telling us a group of people were standing standing at the corner attending a vigil for someone who died of natural causes. Police believe two people inside of a dark colored SUV drove by firing shots. That vehicle was then last seen headed southbound on California. In total, 14 people were shot with the youngest, a three year old boy who was taken here to Stroger Hospital in serious condition after he was hit in both legs. An 11 year old girl was taken to Mount Sinai in serious condition after she was also shot in the leg. And a 13 year old boy is here at Stroger Hospital in serious condition he was shot in both the torso and leg. The oldest victim, a 56-year-old woman, was shot in the torso, and another victim was hit by a vehicle while trying to run away from that gunfire. Police did say their initial investigation doesn't show the victims were the intended targets. There was a vigil that we understand that was being, the balloon release was happening, but the, there may have also been others gathered for other various reasons. It's a very... Uh, you know, common corner to be uh, where people congregate. It's an unfortunate situation to find a three-year-old and some young people are being shot in this particular case. Um, you know, it, it's it, it's heartbreaking uh, to people go out to, you know, memorialize someone and ultimately become victims. Now, police did say that shooting was caught on camera, but so far no one is in custody. Now, there is a $15,000 cash reward for information that leads to an arrest and conviction. Of course, we'll keep you updated as we receive more information on this shooting. For now, we're live outside of Stroger Hospital in Glen Marshall, WGN News. Glenn, thank